everyone! A few weeks ago, we finished off the books of wisdom and poetry, and we're almost done with the Old Testament. Just one last section. Though it is the longest. The prophets. The prophets are called that because that's what they are. Prophets. A prophet is someone who can hear God's voice loud and clear, and carries God's message to his people. Each of the prophets, who has a book in the Bible, did that. They're organized in major prophets and minor prophets. The major prophets wrote a lot, and the minor prophets only wrote a little. We're starting today at the beginning of the section with the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah is the longest book of the Bible by page length, and we'll talk a little bit about why that is. In order to understand each book of a prophet, we have to understand a little bit about them and their message. So, who was Isaiah? Well, Isaiah was probably born to a wealthy family then was a prophet who preached to the southern kingdom, Judah, from about 740 to about 680 BC, almost 60 years. He served under four different kings at minimum in that time. His name translates to the Lord is salvation, or the Lord saves, and that, in essence, was his message. That message was really long, the longest out of any of them, and that's why he's listed as the first major prophet. But it's not because he's more important. He just wrote more. Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and Daniel also wrote lots, and we'll talk about them later. One of the reasons his message was so long was because his predictions, his prophecies, were exceptionally detailed. This was doubly true of his predictions of a savior that would come and save God's people. Partly because it was so long, and partly because books were expensive at the time, Isaiah wrote his prophecies in easily memorized poetry, so ordinary people could remember them. He called God the Lord of Hosts of all the angels he commands, showing the power he has to protect us. He also called God the Holy One of Israel, to show he was different from sinful, unholy humans. But Isaiah had a message. The Lord saves. He has mercy on us, and has chosen to take us in when we give a repentant faith, when we say sorry for our sins. We belong to God, and God's plan through the eventual Savior, Jesus, would make sure that that was so forever. And that was what Isaiah wanted everyone to know.